So let's go to D. So again, the first step is to draw a picture. We like pictures in this class, right? And the middle value is 29. Okay. And we want to know what's the probability that, and this is again, the, this is our X bar picture, right? This is a sampling distribution for X bar. So we want to know what's probably that X bar is between 22.1 and 26.8. So we want to know how much area is here. Now if you look at that, the first thing you know is that the, the amount of area between 22.1 and 26.8 has to be less than 0.5 because the amount of area to the right of 29 is 0.5 and, and the, the shaded region that we've, that we've um, provided in this picture is less than the total area to the left of 29. Okay. So to solve this problem we have to convert from the x-bar world to the z world. So we have to calculate the, the z value for each of these for each of these values right here that we're interested in. Okay. Alright, so the z value and I'll make the z1 for 22.1 is 22.1 minus 29 over 2.4 which is approximately, this is approximately, minus 2.875 Five. Okay. The z value for 26.8 is approximately minus 0.9167. So in the z world, we want to go between minus 2.875 and minus 0.91. Six seven. All right. So let's go down here. The probability that x bar is between twenty two point one and twenty six point eight is equal to the probability that z is between minus two point eight seven five and minus point nine one six seven. Alright. Well how do we determine the area the shaded in the shaded region up here? How do we determine this area right here? Well one way to think about this is that the area between here and there is the area between here and there minus this area that's between here and there. Okay. So again, the area between here and there is the area between there and there minus the area that's between there and there. So what it tells us is that we can write this probability here as a probability okay, that z is between 2.875 and 0 minus a probability that Z is between 0 and 0 0.9167. Notice that I don't have minuses anymore because what I'm doing is I'm solving the problem on this side by solving the equivalent problem on this side. Remember that this distribution is symmetric so I can solve for this area over here by simply taking the equivalent area over here. And this area over here is equal to the area from there to there minus the area from there to there. And that's again what I have here. Okay. All right. Now these are values that we can pull out of the table, right? So again we go to the our, our Z table and I'm going to go ahead and round these off. Hopefully it's clear what I'm doing there. Okay. Okay. So we get these values out of our table. Let's go over here. 
So we have 2.9, which is right there, 2.9. I'm sorry, this should, oh, sorry, this should be 2.88 over here, guys. 2.88, made a mistake. So I want 2.88 in the table, which is right there. So we have 0.498. Okay. 0.4980 minus 0.92 over here, which is right there, which is 0 0.3212. 0 0.31. Sorry, 0.3212. And if we subtract those. Go ahead and minimize this. Okay. We should get the final answer over here 0.1768. So the amount of area up here is 0.1768. So what this tells us is that if we select a sample of size 100 and we calculate the average of that sample that the probability that that value will be between 22.1 and 26.8 is approximately 0.1768 okay. all right let's go to e so again the first thing that we're going to do is draw our picture here we like pictures in this class right Again, the value is 29, and this is the X bar world. And we want to know what's probably that X is less than, or X bar is less than 28.2. So we want to know how much area is over here. If you look at this particular picture, you know that the amount of area over there is less than 0.5 because it's less than half of the area because the area to the right of 29 is going to be 0.5 or a half. So we first we first have to construct the z value. So we take 28.2 minus 29 over 2.4. Now before we calculate this value, do you expect this value to be positive or negative? Well, since 28.2 is to the left of the mean, we expect this value to be negative. Very good. Right. So let's calculate this value we're going to get minus 0.3333. So the probability that x bar is less than or equal to 28.2 is equal to the probability that z is less than minus 0.3333. And remember in our table, we only have two digits, so we're going to convert this to make this approximately right. And if we look at 0.3, all right. Now this value right here that we're looking for, this area up here we're looking for, is the area to the left minus the area here. Using the symmetry of this distribution again, we can write this as the probability. I'm sorry, we can write this. Sorry, second, one second here. We can write this as the, as the total area to the left of like zero. So it's going to be 0.5 minus probability that z is between zero and 0.33. Okay. Actually, this is minus over here. All right, guys. So this is 0.5 minus. 0.33 and it is going to be right there, which is 0 0.129, 0 0.1293, 0 0.1293, which is 0 0.3707. So what this tells us is that if we select a sample of size 100 and calculate the mean of that sample, that the probability that the value will be less than 
is 0 0.3707. page. So let's do the last problem. Hopefully things are being are, are clear as a result of working parts A through E. Again, the first step in, in working these kind of problems is always to draw a picture. So 29 is in the middle. This is again our sampling distribution for X bar. Okay. And we want to know what's the probability that X bar is greater than 27. Well, if you look at this graph, you'll notice that we've shaded in more than half of the area under the curve because we've shaded in this area plus this area right here. So we know that it's going to be 0.5 plus whatever area is here. This tells us that if we want to calculate the area to the right of 27, that we're going to get 0.5, again, plus this area right here. But before we can do that, we have to convert from the X-bar world to the Z world. And we do that by using the z-score. The z-score for 27 is 27 minus 29 over 2.4, which is approximately minus 0.8333. Okay. So the probability that x bar is greater than or equal to 27 is going to be the 0.5. 0.5 plus the probability that z is between 0 and 8, probably 0.8333, right? which is equal to 0 0.5 minus, sorry, plus the probability that z is between 0 and 0.83. And again, this is an approximation. And again, we're only using two digits because a table only gives us two digits. We look at the table for 0 0.8, 3, we see that we get 0 0.2967. 0 0.2967. So 0 0.5 plus 2967. And if we do that, if we add those together, we get 0 0.7967, which is the correct answer. What this tells us is if we draw a sample of size 100 from our population and calculate the average of that sample, that the probability that, that, that the average will be greater than 27 is 0.7967. Well, that's all I have, and um, if you have any, any other questions, please send them by email or submit them through the exercise where you can send a question to the instructor.